ladies and gentlemen, Dennis Tyler to right. So it's world champion Dennis Taylor who breaks off in this one frame confrontation match with the new Cockney Snooker Classic winner, Chris Carpenter. And as you've heard, if Chris can win this frame, he notches up another 2,500 pounds. So a lot of money at stake for just one frame of snooker. Got away with that one. Hasn't left a red on. Taylor. Well, with all those red balls at the end of the table, Chris manages to make contact with the black, so it gives seven points away. Even worse than that, left Dennis in with a good chance here. Yeah? One. Sixteen. Seventeen. There's a third black coming up, but Dennis needs to do a little bit of splitting up, I think, here. Uh, has it come good? Twenty-four. And red into the middle pocket. Twenty-five. <clears throat> and an absolutely cracking pot there from world champion Dennis Taylor. Perfect position on the black. Once again, a red 32. into the middle pocket, which I think will just go. And Dennis looking at a plant there. Uh, decided on the one in the middle, and once again be coming back for the black. 33. as if the plant is on into the corner pocket. 40. <coughs> and that young man realising he's got a lot on his plate if he's to win this frame. 41. Forty 
38. So, dare one mention it, that's six reds and six blacks. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Eight reds and eight blacks, but run 64. out of position now, I'm afraid. Interesting to note, perhaps, that that break of Dennis's 64 equals the break that young Chris made in the final. 64, Dennis Tyler. Now, young Chris with it all to do now. 71 points in arrears. started this break there were 83 possible points on the table so there's enough there to win Quite an unusual situation here. There have been ten reds potted, and the black has been potted with every one. Sixteen. Carpenter's father there watching, willing his son on. Twenty-five. Well, this time the black sequence will be broken. Obviously, the next colour will be a blue. Good fight back here by young Chris. Now, 41 points in the rears.
and this young man certainly has played extremely well. <laughs> Playing with much more composure now than he did in his quarter-final match. Appeared then to be a little bit slapdash, but certainly buckling down to the task now. Dennis Taylor, Dennis Taylor, 33 71, points in front. Chris Carpenter, 38. That's still a possible 43 points on the table. Dennis now Four. attempting a long one into the bulk pocket. <laughs> well, it's unbelievable, isn't it? How well this man pops. This carpenter, of course, now requiring Five. snookers. Three points in front now with just the colours on the table. Ten. 27. And I think he'll probably knock these in. 12. Classic champion finding world champion Dennis Taylor just a little bit 19. too much for him in this particular frame. But I'm sure everybody will agree that he has quitted himself extremely well. One scoring chance and made a 30 break. Twenty-four. <clears throat> Credit due to Dennis Taylor for a magnificent display of snooker. 37, Dennis Taylor and Frank. Well, as a gentleman in the audience has just said to me, that was the perfect frame of snooker. And you were a part of it, and you Cockney champion. <laughs> um, not such a perfect game of snooker, I didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> but it was something to be alongside the world champion, eh? Yes, it was a very enjoyable game, an experience to be go by. Yes, you uh, don't get the £2,500, but something you'll remember, I would have thought, for a long time. Yes, well, <laughs> I've got the first lot. That's right, you've got, the, you've got the first two and a half yeah, grand. Yes, what about it, Dennis? Well, if you just look at the scoreboard, 146 points in one frame, so it wasn't quite the perfect <laughs> frame. You can score 147 with a maximum break, but... Um, if I hadn't made the 64 break at the start of the frame, well, uh, I think I would have been in big trouble because, uh, and to say a lot about Chris's character, after me making the 64 break, he's come straight back with that uh, marvellous 38 break. And only the red wobbled in the middle pocket. Uh, he looked like he could have cleared up. You reckon we may have got a good Cockney champion? You certainly have, and I bet uh, Mecha Bookmakers are a little bit relieved that he didn't clear the table. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, it's been lovely to work with you for the last uh, two or three nights, and I've uh, thoroughly well, appreciated that. It's and been marvellous. I've enjoyed it as well, Brian. And uh, to be with all these lads who are looking to turn professional, uh, you know, it won't be too long to a lot of them will be knocking on the door there. Indeed. Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I hope very much at home you've enjoyed it as well. We've had some tremendous snooker. We've certainly had a few laughs along the way. And tonight we salute a fantastic world champion, but we also salute our new Cockney champion. From us all here, it's good night to you. Lionel Richie is...